The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number eight, we're given an interval on a number line. I've redrawn it here. We have everything including and less than negative five and everything greater than and including one. And we want to use absolute value notation to write this interval. So whenever you see an interval like this on a number line and you need to write an absolute value notation, what your prime objective should be first is to find the middle of the numbers that are given to you. So we have negative five and one. Those are six apart. So the middle number here would be three from either one, which is the point negative two. The reason you want to find that is now you can say a single statement that describes all of these numbers. So what you can say here is your, your, your numbers here are every number that is at least three away from negative two. Because three away from negative two this way is one, three away from negative two this way is negative five, and anything at least three, so anything more than that also. So at least three away from negative two describes all of those numbers. So now we just need to figure out how to write that. So keep in mind, writing that in words, you can say the distance between negative 2 and x is at least 3. So x being any of those numbers. So now we just need to figure out how to write that. So the distance between x and negative 2, or negative 2 and x, is the absolute value of their difference. Remember that a distance is always positive, so you have to do the absolute value. So we do the absolute value of x minus our point. Now our point is negative 2. So that's the distance between x and negative 2. And it's at least 3, meaning greater than or equal to 3. Well, x minus negative 2 is x plus 2. So we get that the absolute value of x plus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 3. That is answer choice B. So whenever you get these number line problems, always try to think about it in terms of a sentence first because then it will be much clearer to you how to write the inequality. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.